Hello, Xavier here. Welcome back to another episode of Titan Souls. Here we are back into the game. And I finally found the next area. I am loving the soundtrack of it already. Welcome. And this is actually like a forest area. And there's only two bosses in this one, which is interesting. But let's get right into it. I love this song. I just want to stand here and listen to the song. But I can't. So let's let's go right ahead and we're going to go to the left real quick. Oh, okay. Oh god, no, it's... Okay, so I'm gonna go left. Go up. Okay, go left. Okay, that doesn't work then. Oh, goodness, it's like the Lost Woods is literally... Okay, so I'll go up. Alright, something new. Go up again. Alright, here we are. First boss, alright. Oh no, I saw this one in the trailer. Oh no. Oh no, I saw the other one in the, the trailer. <laughs> Okay, so, I'm pretty sure the other one in the trailer has spikes in it, and it's rose. But at least I know where to go now. Wow. The giant mushroom, which is interesting. Alright. I don't know why the music is stopping all of a sudden. Alright. Okay, this is not gonna be easy, and it looks like I found the area where I have to shoot the, the guy. So, this isn't as easy as it. You see how the music cuts off? It's so weird. No, I don't know why it does that. I'll be back, guys. Let me check something out. Alright, so everything seems to be fine. I don't know why I was lagging a bit, but. Let's head right into this. I'm gonna try to hit it from. This side, and see if hopefully that helps me out somehow. Go there, do this. Oh shoot! Oh goodness. Okay, so this is not gonna be easy. Of course, that's every single boss in this game. It's not never gonna be easy. So yeah. So let's continue on with the death. That I'll be ensuing upon the file <laughs> and figure out how to beat this thing. So, first, I need to learn how to get away from it. So, okay, so I'm concentrating at the same time. So, okay, I completely did that to myself, but. I think I got the gist of it. I'm going to be running and rolling more than ever before in these battles by the looks of it. Whew. Okay. I mean, it's the only thing. Some of the few things that I can do is just run. You know, roll. And then I can shoot my arrow once. So I got to find an opening where the mushroom boss doesn't actually move for a few seconds or frames. To, to where I can decide. Okay, like that, see? Those are the frames that it doesn't move in. There's my... This is not easy to move. The screen is like... going crazy right now. Well then, okay, wow, just wow, that boss is going to be hard. Okay, so it looks like when it's going crazy with the whole jumping thing, I'm going to have to hit it in that pink spot where those pink spores come out of, and that's where I'm going to have to destroy it, so, 
Okay, nothing I haven't dealt with before. Alright, let's do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So every t three times it bounces, it goes one, two, three, and then it goes crazy. So. Three. Oh, I didn't. I was focused on my arrow. I did not see that score. So it looks like every three jumps, it goes crazy. So if I can time it correctly, then maybe I can hit it. There's only two bosses in this one, which is interesting because that just means it's going to be that much harder. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, so I know how to beat it. You know, well, I think I know how to beat it, but. Um, it's my best choice right now. Oh, for the love of God. Okay. Alright, so let us continue with the deaths that keep from coming to us. So, yeah, that's what I think. Oh, wow. How did I not notice the mushrooms sooner? I just gotta follow the mushrooms and then the mushrooms will lead me to the boss. I just noticed that. How could I? Wow. What? <laughs> okay. So, okay, and there we go, one, two, and nope. I got my arrow back. One, two, three, and then... Nope. Okay, so maybe if I can time it correctly to where the on the third time it does that, I can ha be ready for it. So I'm gonna have to f follow the pink mushroom on its side where the spores come out, and I'll do it that way. So. One, two, three. It moves at the same time as I do that, so. It's not gonna be easy. Like, like seriously, it's gonna be hard. I'm not gonna lie. I'm already struggling trying to figure out how or when it turns, you know? I do know when three turns, when, when it jumps three times on the third time, it goes crazy and starts going in circles in the same spot. So. You have to be careful with that right there. One, two, three. Okay. Well then, this is not gonna be easy. Alright, I hit the eye, Woo. okay, that took so much concentration, alright, but most, most bosses take the concentration it takes to beat them, so, that's one down, we got, we got the other one to go, now I know for a fact the other one is going to be the one that I saw in the trailer when I decided to buy the game, it's one with spikes, and vines so ooh, okay this one doesn't have any hmm. let's go up no it is not up okay so let's go to the right well there's more flowers in the bottom so maybe that way 
no, it is, it is the right way, okay. Because <laughs> I was looking at the flowers here, I was like, okay, well, this the right way is that one. What the heck? I guess I go up then. Oh, look at that, I can, I can do swimming here. Okay, so what is the right way then? Because I went to the right. What took me there? That is so weird. So, right. Up takes me up here again. Okay. And down takes me down here again. So if I go up instead, and what else do I do? It's like, huh. That's so weird. If I go down, I'll be up there. And if I go up, I'll be up down there. Unless I go back to the left. Yo! I'm so smart. I was like, I tried everything, but I, I, I didn't go left. That's a smart idea there, though. Okay, I already see this is most likely going to be the spot I have to hit. It looks like that's the area I'm going to have to hit. Now I'm going to have to figure out the whole attack pattern though. So you go left. And you go left again. And you go up. Wow, that is a smart idea. I'm not going to lie, that is actually really smart. I love this game, it's just amazing. I mean, even though I've died so many times, I, I can't wait to show you guys how much I've died at the end of the series. Okay, I have to go through it when the things are up. Okay, well then, uh, that's gonna be hard, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be one of the hardest bosses I've seen so far. It looks ginormous, which doesn't help the fact that it's gonna be hard, so... Whew. Okay, so... We gotta think, so I'm guessing you already hit that little part right there. I, I, like, first thing you see is that thing, you know? That's the thing that really makes it up. And I missed again. Okay. <clears throat> okay. This is not gonna be easy, but I say that every episode, so, I mean, it's not surprising there. I'm already on the third episode, and I've beaten how many bosses? Seven? Eight? I'm at, well, eight, including this one, and nine after this one, but... You get the point. It's, it's, it's a hard game. Well, apparently those little poisonous toxins actually kill you too. Okay, noted. I'm just gonna take the first route I was gonna do in the first one. Go left. <laughs> Um, so it seems that once I attack it, it turn, starts turning left, meaning that the eye, I mean, I'll say mouth, because it looks like mouth, goes to the right. So that's why I was trying to go to the right, see if I can... Oh goodness, this is not gonna be easy. I already died and I'm only hitting the tentacles. But... Ooh, goodness gracious. Okay, so I gotta figure out. Like, I can see whenever the tentacles go up, it leaves a little space for walking, but I can go under them. I know for a fact that's not in the trailer. Um, it's not gonna be easy for sure. Because, I mean, that's, that's what Titan Souls is. It's not gonna be easy. I need to find that opening. Okay, I found the opening that I was looking for. Oh, I walked right into that one. Okay, so it looks like I have to stay in front of it. 
And once the uh, I was about to go the wrong way. And and once I guess I hit it four times since it has four leaves. I'm not sure, cause cause it looks like it sucked in the arrow and it got hurt. So I'm trying to figure out how that's gonna work out. Okay, let's go to the right first. Oh well, well dang. That was a quick death. Okay, um, but yeah, it looks like I've, I, I mean, I, I'm thinking I figured it out, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so it's gonna suck you in, I guess, it's gonna start sucking you air in, and then you shoot the arrow inside of it and it hurts it. It's gonna spit it out later on. Wow! I cannot predict where the tentacles land either, which is the hard part. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are people out there that can do that, but I'm trying to figure out how to actually predict the movements of the tentacles so I won't have to get hit by them. Because there's four of them, meaning there's a four times chance of me dying, which is going to be hard. Plus, it's got the little smoky thing, which is not the best thing. There we go. Damn it. Okay, I kind of figured it out. Okay, so it looks like once I suck it in, I'm going to have to pull so the arrow comes out. And then I have a little window, it's like just a small window to actually shoot inside of it. And that there is how I'm going to defeat it. That is my guess right now. I'm not 100% on it, but I am so certain that's what I have to do. So let's get right into this, guys. Okay, so I just have to avoid the tentacles. And I did not succeed. I wonder what these little purple things do, because every time I get on it, it turns the screen purple. I thought it killed me. But I wonder what it does to you. Does it slowly kill me? Does it make me slower? I, I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, the slime boss made you slower, so... And speed is obviously... and, and I mean, speed and preciseness is obviously a, th a thing that you're going to have to do with this boss here. Definitely going to be a big thing. Oh god, I probably should have. Okay, so. It looks like that's. I think I have figured out a pattern. So. And I might be wrong, but I think I might just be right too. I'm like half 50 50 on it. So. I think I'm getting the hang of this boss right here. I said hard, but. If you can figure out their attack pattern. Then I think most people would be good. It does kill you. Okay. Do note it. The purple mist will kill you. Hence why it looks like skulls. Just it's a slow death. But it eventually gets to you. Okay, so I'm gonna have to avoid the dang purple mist as well, which is gonna make it harder because, I mean, it would have been easy if it was just, you know, the tentacles, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, did I just attack its tentacle? I can do that? Yo, I did not. Wait, what just happened? You can attack. Oh, wait a minute. You can attack him? Can you walk over to him after you attack him? Yeah, okay. I, I'm going into testing mode right now. 
Let's try this out, guys. So I'm gonna shoot here because that's where the tentacle comes out. No, you cannot walk over them. But it is very well noted that you can do that. Okay, so that was a testing thing. And I did that on purpose so I can test it out. So it looks like you can cut their tentacles off, which is interesting. It's not going to help because there's obviously one more obstacle in my way. And it'll just make things harder, not easier. But do noted. Do noted. Don't miss. I walked right into that one. I'm not going to lie. But I figured out its attack pattern. That that I know, and then I figured out what I have to do. Uh, first, that mist is a big hazard. I am not a big fan of it. I wish I could do something about it, but it looks like it's a permanent thing, and, and it just keeps spouting out, depending, I, I guess. Yeah. I almost had it last time, but it closed up. I wonder how many seconds it is to close up before I shoot it to death. Ah, that's why you suck in. Okay, buddy. Okay. I think I know I might have a plan. I might have a plan, and it does involve the tentacles. So, I technically don't need to go around the whole thing. I think I can stay in a general area, as long as I can avoid the smoke, smoky thing. So, while I'm heading to the left, I'm going to shoot the left arm. That way I have more space to move. So I'm going to reduce some of its limbs while I'm at it. So, while it's over here, I'm going to shoot that arm. Right, yeah, the one that killed me. That's the arm I'm going to shoot. Right there. Okay, so, you guys get the idea what I'm trying to do? And I know what I'm going to try to do. It's, it might be a little bit extra, but I think it might just help me. I mean, it's harder. In my opinion, that's just doing extra, but if I can beat it like that, that'll be pretty cool. So, get. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so uh, that, that, that um, went down real quick. Yes, I did it! That took so much concentration. Such a beautiful flower, too. That took so much concentration. Oh my god, my my actual fingers are cramping up, too, just because I had to run and just hold the remote for so long. Goodness gracious, that was, that was not easy. I'm going to avoid these spikes. I don't care if I, I, I don't even want to take a chance. Okay, well then, I defeated these two. Now, let's check out how the item, the, the, the building looks like, the, you know, the door. Oh, you guys can also see 
where I went to the gate here. So I actually went to the left, uh, to the right, um, on contrary to the last one where I went to the left to get to the ice area. Now let's let's go up to that door and see how it looks. Now there should be, I think maybe two more that I have to fill up. Maybe I'm not sure, but it's a good way to see. Two more, two more guys. We just need two more. Let's go find that area real quick. So I've gone to the left. I've gone to the right. Now let's check if we go south in that same direction. Um, I'm not sure where it might be, but let's just check this way. Looks like I can go lower. I'm guessing south is the right way to go. Ooh, no place right there. I, I have not been here before. One down. Well, let me see what's in here. What is this place? I found it! Alright. There's some totem statues. There's four different types. But there's only two more bosses left. But I know. But hey, this is a good way to end the episode. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of Titan Souls. I really appreciate you guys watching the series. It's, such a, it's been such a long road, even though it's like the third episode. But these bosses take forever to beat. But hey, thank you guys for watching today's episode of Titan Souls. I will now see you next week with another episode of Titan Souls. Alright, bye!